Parfanes Adventures, Master Guides, TLTs, and uh, all others who are joining us today, very well welcome to our launch of our event, which is Challenge Accepted uh, from the British Union Conference. As uh, some of you know, uh, well, this was the year uh, where we were supposed to have the British Union Conference Campari in, well, one of the most beautiful countries. Uh, I'm sure uh, Scottish would say the most beautiful country and that is uh, Scotland. Uh, so to all of you who are joining us today on uh, uh, Facebook Live uh, from whichever page, uh, we wanna say a very warm welcome. Uh, we know that uh, already a few of you joined from Sri Lanka, a very happy Sabbath to you. We have people from um, South Africa, happy Sabbath as well. Well, uh, maybe not yet. Maybe uh, South Africa, maybe uh, the Sabbath hasn't started yet. What time is it? Maybe it did, sorry, sorry. We have people from Nottingham and from a few other places, so very well welcome. Uh, please do use the chat uh, this uh, afternoon, this evening, uh, to ask the questions if you do, and if we're able, we'll uh, reply back to you. Uh, my name is Pastor Dejan Stojkovic, in case we haven't had a chance to meet. Uh, I serve as a, as a British Union Conference Youth Teens and Pathfinder Director, and uh, I had a chance and privilege with Natalie and the full team of BUC guys, which you will meet tonight again. Uh, to uh, run the e-club during all this, uh, well, this kind of tough time of lockdown. So my friends, uh, um, uh, we're gonna now slowly move to the next section. So uh, what is happening this year is very simple. We had to swap our camping outside Camp Re for something that is maybe more achievable for all of us. And uh, that is we're gonna run a full month of challenges for our adventurers, pathfinders, master guides, and everybody else, uh, moms and dads, pastors included. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna use this online and challenge month to get to know each other a little bit better. So if you did not know this, British Union Conference has five beautiful entities. Uh, we'll start from the top, a Scottish mission, then we have a North England Conference, a South England Conference, a Welsh mission, and Irish mission. So five different entities of the British Union, and we will have a five different medals for you to achieve uh, during this month. Let me just tell you, uh, in case your club has not uh, signed up for this challenge, uh, that's no problem at all. The deadline, well, it's never really. You can sign up and do anytime you want these challenges, but if you would like to be a part of this month of challenges which bring also some awards to your clubs, we suggest you to do today, tomorrow or Sunday and get on board uh, because this is going to be exciting for all of us. I believe probably the most exciting for me and I will, as I will have a chance to see how you're progressing. So uh, here it is, a few more information. You need to know uh, that if you would like to sign up, you will go to this web page, which is uh, under address of Kemperi.uk. And uh, we are very thankful to Paul, our IT uh, director here in British Union Conference, who built uh, who built this for us. At the same at the same time, uh, she will uh, be joining us a little bit further down the line in this program to give you more information. Uh, we made this for all of you guys um, uh, to enjoy, and this will remain active for a little while. So that means that even when the uh, challenges are finished for this month you as a club will still be able to actually do other challenges after this month. Uh, so we're hoping this becomes uh, something that will keep our kids, our, uh, our, our guardians, our parents, our club instructors and directors active in the, uh, in the days, for example, when it's winter and you can't move too much. Uh, if you do uh, like this uh, uh, concept of challenges, please do share uh, uh, this video with uh, people that you think might be interested at the same time, if you're watching on a Facebook, uh, make sure you hit the like button because it really helps us uh, spread uh, a good uh, word about all of this. So my friends, uh, let's go to the next stage. And that is introduction of the medals. So I'm not gonna actually talk about requirements. I'm gonna just uh, show you the pictures. Uh, we, we want you to see how medals will look. They're being produced right now. Uh, so if anybody likes their uh, Scottish mission medal also again, press the, uh, um, uh, press the uh, like button. Um, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, Pastor Clifford, is after we go through this, we will open, um, well, maybe, maybe too late for that now. Okay, so. Uh, so this is Scottish uh, Mission Medal, and uh, uh, let me just tell you about the three different, three different levels for the each medal. Uh, so if you can see, there is a three different uh, ribbons. 
there is a Pathfinder ribbon, there is Adventure ribbon, and Master Guard ribbon. So that means that for the Scottish mission uh, uh, and any other uh, entity, NEC, SEC, Irish mission, and Welsh mission, you'll be able to choose the level of difficulty you would like to do. So you can expect that some challenges will be much tougher for the Master Guides. Uh, 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 master guides than for the adventurers and pathfinders. And so this is the first taste of this. But before we go any further, uh, let's just bow our heads wherever we are. And let's just thank God that we are able to be here tonight and uh, uh, we can then go proceed with the rest of the program. So if it's all right, uh, if it's all right, uh, past, uh, if it's all right, Pastor Andrew, would you mind praying for us? And then we're going to continue. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege we have this evening to come together as we launch out this uh, amazing program, uh, this most creative uh, way of mingling and uh, getting ourselves healthy. And we thank you, Lord, for the activities that have been planned and all the work that's gone into it. And we thank you for all the hearts that will respond to this. But Father, we cannot do that without your Holy Spirit. And so we invite your Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. Even now, Father, as we go through each uh, presentation, we ask, Father, that we will all be inspired of you, O oh God, and that this program will bring honor and glory to you. And many people will be blessed and many people will be encouraged. Many people, Lord, will come to uh, have a healthier lifestyle they will know and interact with people from different cultures with a little more knowledge about the British Isles. And so we invite Father and ask that your spirit will be the one that will lead everything and motivate us and get us in tune and get us ready in doing this, these challenges. Father, we thank you for hearing and answering our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Andrzej. Uh, for that prayer and uh, i my apologies i was too excited i just went straight into presentation uh, we should have had that in before all of this uh, my apologies so oh, here it is this is a scottish medal and pastor angel will talk a little bit more about this entity about his uh, beautiful medal uh, let me just tell you <clears throat> just because you live in scotland and you think it's the most beautiful country in the world you might not want to do this challenge you might want to do the, uh, the south england conference challenge because Pastor Clifford will tell you that that is the challenge to go for, uh, but certainly this is how it looks like they're being produced right now. Uh, so uh, we are hoping to have them in a week or two uh, and then ready for the final uh, presentation. All right, let's see the animation of this beautiful medal. Wow, I think uh, that looks like a medal I would like to go for, but let's see. Uh, oh. in, before before we go, before we show you this, well, I show you a second medal. Let me just say hello to everybody who joined us live right now. And we have a, quite a few people who are saying happy Sabbath from Grantham Club. Uh, people are also mentioning uh, and saying that they can't wait. Uh, we would like to say uh, hello to the Welsh mission, Mike and Louise. Uh, um, we also have a message which says, uh, uh, it says challenge accepted from South Shields Part Fun and Adventure Club. Uh, oh, we are so glad the South Shields and NEC clubs are joining us. Uh, so um, once again, big thank you for being live with us. Noting the conference medal, this is how he's looking at the moment. I'm gonna just only say you are seeing beautiful motifs of North England Conference, and Pastor um, Equisa will tell us who is today dressed in his adventure uniform because. This is not just for part funders, this is for our adventure as well. So thank you so much, Pastor Equisa, for representing our youngest and probably the toughest members. Um, so here it is. You can maybe see the Angel of the North. Maybe you can see a few other things there. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but uh, we look forward for more information from Pastor Equisa. Once again, uh, if you are uh, watching this and you're joining from the North England Conference, uh, that doesn't mean you have to do the North England Conference Challenge. You can do uh, some other challenges. Well, uh, this is South England Conference uh, medal. Uh, for me, one of the, uh, well, I'm not going to say too much, uh, uh, but certainly the richest when it comes to, uh, um, well, how much stuff there is on the medal, by the way. Uh, I'm not saying that this is anything better than Scottish or Welsh or Irish. 
or any seed. This is just it's so much on it and faster. Cliff will tell us a little bit more about this. You will see that the back of the medals also have some motifs and they are also part of your requirements and you will learn much more as you go. We didn't show you the back of other medals uh, for the very simple reasons because we want some surprises as well. Uh, so uh, they are um, uh, on, uh, on every single medal. I think there is a uh, uh, something that will help you discover part of the world or maybe part of, um, uh, of history uh, that this region has uh, in many ways. It is also uh, some of them carry uh, very spiritual uh, lessons as well. So if you look this medal uh, as any other medal, you have three levels you can choose again, uh, Adventurous, Pathfinder and Master Guide. And you'll be able to uh, choose uh, whichever you want according to your ability, not according to your level in the club at the moment. So if you're somebody who is a pathfinder but thinks he can do the master guide level challenge, you can do this. Uh, uh, certainly that doesn't make you a master guide, uh, but certainly what it does uh, is uh, shows you that you are willing to take a really serious challenge for you. So this is South England Conference and uh, let's see the animation for the South England Conference medal. <clears throat> As uh, we are going to Wales, uh, everybody who is watching live, make sure who is willing to do SEC medal uh, challenge. Uh, uh, if you are the one, uh, please make sure that you say yes for SEC. Yes for SEC. Uh, somebody just asked the question, is there YouTube uh, a uh, broadcast at the, uh, for this? Not at the moment, uh, but this video will be available uh, straight after the broadcast. So I'm, I'm expecting probably by 8 o'clock p.m. UK time, you're able to join us. Now we're going to Wales. <clears throat> I'm not going to say too much about this, uh, except there is a dragon. This dragon is not the one from Revelation, but certainly there is a dragon. I just want to point that out. Um, Wales, well, uh, there is a sheep there. You maybe need to find why and a few other things. And Pastor David Rancic, <laughs> our Welsh mission sponsor, will tell us much more about one of the most beautiful regions of uh, uh, British Union. Uh, also, let me just tell you, uh, my friends, if you're wondering why Sco why uh, why Wales has ca uh, uh, castles and not Scotland, well, that's only one fact today I'm going to share with you. You might be surprised that Wales has the most ca uh, castles on a square mile in in the in 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 the, um, uh, in Europe. Uh, it's not Scotland. I always believed the Scottish had most castles, but no, no, actually it is Wales. So, Pastor David, we look forward for you to share the challenges. Uh, which will help our young people and our uh, instructors reach this. Uh, so let's have a look uh, how the medal looks in animation right now. Hey, David, uh, that looks very good there. Uh, I just want to share a beautiful message with you, Pastor David. Uh, and a Welsh Mission Challenge accepted by a growing club galaxy from Sri Lanka. So uh, Sri Lanka is going for the Welsh mission. We, we are so glad for that. <laughs> we are, uh, let me just see who else is there. Oh, uh, we have a few more South Africans joining us. That is great. Here it is. Now we're coming to the Irish mission. Well, uh, for everybody else uh, who is going for Irish mission, uh, somebody wrote there, go Wales, go Wales. <clears throat> It's so beautiful to see the people cheering for certain regions. Uh, Irish Mission, well, for everybody who doesn't know this, Irish Mission is composed actually from two countries, and that is from uh, Republic of Ireland and from Northern Ireland, which belongs to the United Kingdom. So, of course, we have two, uh, uh, two sides of this story, uh, so, uh, and uh, you will see on the top of the medal the two national flowers and uh, plants of uh, uh, Ireland, uh, Republic of Ireland, and Northern Ireland and some things that they share. You will find out about this thing in the middle. You're wondering what that is. Well, you will have to do the challenge. Uh, uh, but a beautiful thing about uh, Irish Mission is so rich. Uh, that's where the Titanic was built, by the way. And uh, also there, this is the place of Cliffs of Moha. And uh, unfortunately today, Pastor Bog well, Bogdan was not able to be with us today, but certainly, uh, certainly uh, one of the challenges uh, very close to my heart and maybe somebody there would like to do uh, Irish Mission Challenge. And if it's you, please let us know in the comment section.
in case you're joining us right now, uh, we just want to welcome you once again uh, to the uh, to this beautiful, uh, uh, well, a beginning of the beautiful event, which is uh, a challenge accepted. Uh, uh, in case you missed any of these parts, do not panic. This is all recorded. We're going to post uh, this video online tonight, uh, so you'll be able to share this link with those people who haven't had chance to be with us. So how do you achieve challenges is a question. I'm going to just briefly mention this. You'll be able to go to the beautiful site, which is temporary.uk, and you will download. Uh, um, well, first of all, you register your club. And then you will download um, uh, the worksheet. So uh, just want to draw your attention to something very important. If you look at the top, uh, you will say uh, you will see next to, next to Scottish Mission uh, Adv uh, Adventure Challenge, you will see Adventure logo. Next to the Welsh Mission, you will see uh, the Pathfinder logo, and you will see next to Southern Conference a Master Guide logo. Sorry, Pastor Quisa and Northern Conference. There was no place for four pages. Uh, <clears throat> so what that means is that when you download your worksheets. Uh, make sure you download the worksheet that uh, matches the challenge that you want. In case you if you realize that <clears throat> challenges are too hard, maybe you can just downgrade and download the sheet of, which is a little bit less intense and just continue working with that. And what happens, uh, thank you to Natalie uh, Davison who uh, created these worksheets. You will find out, you see these boxes then? So every some of the challenge required to be active every day. And that means that every single time you do something, you tick the box and so this worksheet one day you'll be submitting to your club director and these are the requirements for you to reach the medal and so if you go for adventure medal you will get adventure ribbon if you're going for the pathfinder you will go uh, you will get a, 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 a pathfinder ribbon or the master guide one and we want to ask you and tell you this the moment you download this worksheet oh yes uh, the moment you print this worksheet and you you start you, you become active in the challenge accepted uh, our, uh, our, um, our worksheets will activate a tracking ink and we will know exactly what you're doing. Uh, no, that's not true, guys. We have to trust you. Absolutely. We have to trust you. Uh, you need to be true to yourself uh, and uh, to the adventure and pathfinder motto and lifestyle. We want you to be truthful. So if you, for example, don't manage to do the, all the steps you need to do in a day, one day, why not add a few steps tomorrow? And one by one, they, you know, make sure you complete this. You will also see that there are some honors and awards attached to these worksheets. So if you achieve them already, congratulations. That means you want to do them, but if you need to do them, we have all the links online. So you'll be able to click on the YouTube and do it whenever it is okay for you. All right, so this is how you're gonna achieve. Now it's time to stop sharing the screen and it's time to introduce our directors for today. And then after that, we will, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to do. Uh, uh, so here it is, stop sharing. Here it is. We're, we're, I'm using two computers. Uh, I am only able to use one computer and a calculator. So do apologize about that. So today we have our top uh, 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 people in our conference mission fields. Uh, we have a directors from all uh, these five except Ireland. Uh, and uh, and we have uh, Paola with us today, which is IT director in the British Union Conference. So what we're gonna start is this, we're gonna start with Pastor NJ as he is the Scottish Mission, Scottish Mission Pathfinder Director. And he is uh, serving there with his wife and Toko uh, together as a team. So Pastor NJ, tell us a little bit about the Scottish Mission Challenge. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Pastor Dan and I just, <clears throat> need to acknowledge your wisdom in in getting Scotland to start first because you know challenge accepted is you can't challenge accept and then not have Scotland go first because this is the home of brave heart this is where challenges begin and challenges are accepted and this is God's own country so your wisdom is remarkable you know we thank God how he's using you and God in his wisdom challenge number one is the Ben Nevis climb. So in his wisdom, he put the highest peak in the whole of the British uh, uh, Union Conference. The highest peak is Ben Nevis, 1,345 meters high, guys. And that is in Scotland. Okay, so that's the first challenge. Whether you're 
just uh, just to make sure cl we clarify straight away so of course we don't expect from everybody to go now to ben evis and <laughs> is that right so how are they gonna fulfill that challenge pastor nj well it differs for pathfinders example they need to walk two times uh, uh each day uh, a total of 2690 uh steps that will kind of uh, 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 match up with the 1,345 meters by the end of the challenges. So that's how it's been calculated. And you would tick each box on the form that shows uh, you, when you have achieved that uh, uh, bit. So we we have it different for each and every one of um, the levels. So we've got one for pathfinders, one for adventurers and one for master guides that's the highest challenge and highest level so the first one is ben nevis the highest point and nobody can boast about that but scotland by the way but we are not boasting we, we love the other guys in their lower places we love them so much um and then there's the loch ness i mean loch ness people come from all over the world just to uh, visit loch ness and loch ness by the way uh, with 22.5 miles uh, long and contains more water than all the lakes of England and Wales combined. But just don't, don't, don't say much a, about that. Not important fact, but just <laughs> that's right. But if you complete a return journey of 22.5 miles or 36 kilometers by either swimming, running, skipping, jogging, hiking over uh, the challenge period, then you would have uh, ticked all the boxes for this particular one. And let me move quickly so that my uh, colleagues with their, you know, um, challenges as well can be able to tell us a little more. So the next one is the Falkirk wheel. Uh, that's the Falkirk wheel rotation. And it's the only rotating boat lift of its kind in the world. And you can choose that challenge and we have matched it so that you will be able to uh, uh, choose one of the following to do each week, for example, each day of the week rather, uh, of the challenge period. So 24 sit-ups, 24 push-ups, 24 squats, 24 um, star jumps, and you can alternate them and something like that and you would have achieved something towards this challenge and i'm just reading from the pathfinder uh, area of the challenges because there's uh, different ones for uh, adventurers and for master guide and then there's the aurora borealis oh that's the northern lights you know gain energy from the sun as we just a few weeks you may have seen this appearing in the news about this uh, amazing natural phenomenon and create and lead daily worship with your family for one week using about seven texts. Now, we won't go through all the texts, but just giving you what that challenge includes. And then there's the bagpipes and kilts. Now, some of you have already done those honors because they were very popular even at TED Campuri. And so the bagpipes are traditional instruments from Scotland with a very distinctive uh, sound. And the kilt uh, was has a very long history and the weaves denotes uh, to which uh, the clan you belong to. Um, and so it's something so interesting and we want to tell you a little more so you understand our culture here in Scotland. So the bagpipe and the kills honor are there for you to achieve. And the last but not least of the challenges is uh, the landmarks, the landmarks, sorry, of Scotland, the Scottish landmarks. And you can be here and tour different places nothing compares to scotland i'm sure you understand that and um we're looking forward to you being able to participate in this challenge by the way it's not the only challenge that's why we're going to share the challenges with those that are coming next but thank you for choosing the scottish challenge accepting that one is the beginning of everything Pastor nj uh, we already had some people who accepted uh, the challenge uh, uh, as you were talking yay uh, and we are there so you happy go. for that there you go on the other hand uh, uh, it, it, it was a little bit also challenging internet connection with scotland but we heard all the information so fast angel thank you for that yeah we know someone who's behind uh stopping us being heard uh uh you know uh, <laughs> uh our internet connection has been perfect until now 
but we thank God that you heard as much as we wanted to share. We you, we heard, Pastor Angel, we loved it. Uh, so uh, people uh, we, in the group here, we are laughing as well because uh, we love being together. Pastor, Pastor uh, Ikrisa, it is time for the Nottingla Conference. What do you have well, to say about the well, challenge? Well, Pastor, Pastor Dayan, I just want to tell everybody, if you want to be connected, come to the North. I mean... We, we just have to bear with Scotland. We love our brother. We love Scotland. But if you want power, if you want energy, drop down a little bit. Come to North England. We've got power pack stuff. Let me begin by the Humber Bridge, a 2,220 meter long bridge just up in Hull. I think some of you Pathfinders would remember and adventurers. We were in Hull a couple of years ago before corona came and those of you who are driving you saw the humber bridge on your right as you're driving towards hull now let me because i'm wearing my my adventure uniform i'm just inviting all the adventurers to join me wherever you are in the north in the south in the isles come on to the north now the you know the humber bridge 2220 meters we don't want you to walk that much we just want you to walk half of that. That's 1,110 steps a day. Just download the forms. You will not have internet problem downloading them. Just come and download it. You're good to go. Now, just listen. We, we, you know, you don't have to, you don't, you know, just make sure that you check with your doctor. And if you've got, if you have a special need, if you're a special need person, you don't have to say, you know, pastor, how, how am I going to do this? We want everybody involved. Just talk to your club director. We will be there to support you. Just do what you can. We want you to enjoy the challenge and you'll be blessed. Now, that's just one. I'm, I mean, I've got others. Let me see. Winder Mare Lake. Mm, the Lake District, the most beautiful area in England. As, uh, uh, you know, let, let me see, maybe maybe the UK. But these are the beautiful lakes there. You've got the Lake Windermere. It's in Cumbria, not far from Newcastle. If you're from, you know, from Scotland, definitely just come down. You're not far from there. Now, what you're going to do with the, you know, with the Windermere Challenge it's 11 miles. The lake is 11 miles long, and we want you to complete 11 miles by the following means. You can swim, you can run, cycle, jogging, or hiking over the period, not on a day. You can do one mile a day, and then another mile, and then another mile, and make sure you add them up to 11, and there you will have achieved the length of Windermere Lake. Now, I know, I know chocolates are some of your favorites, and we've got the next challenge based about chocolate. This is the Cadbury, the Cadbury House of Bonville. Bo sorry, not Cadbury, Bonville. Bonville, uh, Bonville House is somewhere in Birmingham, and it was built by Quaker Cadbury, the family that is behind, I think, the Cadbury chocolate. And this is another fascinating place. If you are looking for a place to visit over the summer, welcome to Bonville Village up there in Birmingham. Now, what we want you to do for Bonville, uh, for the, the Bonville, you get 20 points for the following challenge, a 20-minute workout each weekday of the challenge month. So just 20 minutes. Hey, listen, when you're doing your walking, that could be a workout and you do not have to do workout 20 minutes and then walking 20 minutes. You can combine the challenge. You get a 20 minute from your walking and add it onto the Bonville. You know, the, the good things come from North England. Now, next to that, we have the National Space Center. You get another 20 points. National Space Center challenge for adventurers. Let me just tell you a little bit about this. There are several areas in the North of England that are classified as dark sky locations. These have very little ambient light and are perfect for viewing the glorious night sky creation. So what we want you to do for this challenge is to read about the dreams in the lives of these Bible characters, Joseph, Daniel, Peter, Jacob, Solomon, 
And of course, in Solomon, we're doing that for the Adventure Pathfinder Bible experience. Maybe some of you have already started reading about that. You can read about the wise men, uh, Joseph of Nazareth, and so on and so forth. So do that. And every time you read, you just tick that box and you are on your way to get your 20 points for the challenge. Next to that, we've got the Holy Island of Lindisfarne, an early center of Celtic Christianity recorded from about 6th century AD. We're told that many early versions of books, including the Bible, were copied and distributed from here. The famous Lindisfarne Gospels were also copied and decorated here. Now, I know I can hear already some of you are thinking, you know what, we've never been to this place. Welcome to the north and plan your visit during the summer. I know the airports may be locked, but Holy Islands may be open. Just plan and come down. But what do you need to do to get the points from this particular challenge? We want you to do the following. Complete just one of the following awards in your own time and way. Either astronomer, my picture book, temperance. Just one of those. I know some of you already uh, have already finished this, so you are already on your way. And finally, Northern English art. We want you to choose some of the most iconic stuff that you see in the north of England, where is the Yorkshire Dales uh, National Park or the Pennines, whatever you can find. Just, just get your pencils and, and get your coloring pencils and, and paint and put it all in picture for your 20 points. All right, so choose one. Uh, we, we, we're told here represent one of the natural or man-made English landmarks in any art form. Should just choose one. Whether it's going to be the Yorkshire Dales or it's going to be the you know the Holy Islands of Lindisfarne, anything. Just choose and put it to paint and color, and there you'll get your twenty points. Well, that's all from the North, Pastor. Dayan, I mean, I could go on, but we I know. know that we've got already people from the North, South already joining. <laughs> Welcome. And we're looking forward for great Pastor stuff. Pastor Ikvisa, thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, some people uh, are wondering, uh, you know, did you ever work in the tourist uh, industry of the North Tigla Conference? Uh, but uh, um, certainly, certainly we got the gist. Uh, we have, Pastor says, challenge accepted by the uh, Rochdale Master Guides and, ma and Master Guides in Training. So Rochdale is going with you for sure. Is there anybody else there? Uh, please uh, put it in the chat. I will read this out. Uh, but certainly uh, there is an interest for this beautiful challenge and achieving this medal. Just in case, if you're wondering, uh, you need to know that all, all these challenges are developed in that way that can be done even in situations of the lockdown as some areas are still uh, so if you are wondering how i'm going to do this well you will read in instructions in those uh, requirements and you will find out it only requires your imagination and your willingness to do it so we look forward for you joining uh, the north england challenge as well okay who is here uh, somebody else <clears throat> oh hansel challenge accepted of the north england conference so more people are saying this for everybody who is joining us make sure that you share and like and uh, if you're watching this later on, on YouTube, make sure you put in comments which challenges you're going guys for because we would like to know. Uh, 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 we have uh, uh, Lu Luisa is not going for you, Pastor NJ, just to let you know, but she is going to another challenge. Uh, uh, and it seems to me uh, that is going to be um, a Welsh one. That's right. So Pastor David, uh, would you mind uh, uh, sharing the Welsh mission challenge uh, uh, for this month of activities for us? Uh, <clears throat> welcome, dear friends, to the land of song. This is what Wales is known around the world. An amazing place with amazing countryside, natural beauties and dragons, as Pastor Dan said. Well, if you want to go to Scotland and to go to the Loch Ness, as I did a couple of years ago, you will just find the water. There is no Nessie uh, as yet. Uh, but if you come down to the Wales, at least you will see the Welsh dragon on our flag as you cross the Severn Bridge. So this is the land that uh, we would love to welcome you all. 
and uh, we would love to invite you to do some of the Welsh challenges. I, I am here to tell you that <clears throat> in our country here in Wales, we also have one of the tallest uh, mountains in the British Isles, not as tall as claimed by the others before me, but it is uh, tall 1,085 meters. Uh, this is a Snowdon um, a climb, if you want. I've done it a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, if you are passing by around North Wales throughout the summer, going to Aberdaron for some of the, of the camps and etc., you can maybe make a little detour and actually conquer the Snowdon mountain. But for us in this challenge, I am going to invite you uh, and I am going to share uh, the, the adventurous challenge um, because this is our basic starting kind of entry level. We, you will have to walk every day 1,085 meters. And I've got my watch that can count my um, my steps and I will be ready to do this. Pathfinders obviously have to do a little bit more and master guides will have to walk every day a little bit more than uh, 1,085 meters uh, or steps. And then uh, you can be able to tick off your challenge um, and uh, do it in that way. Now, one of the things that we love in Wales is hiking and people come all over the the, the world to explore a little bit of the Welsh countryside and walk and hike around Wales. That's why we have something that we are very proud of. And that is something that is called a Welsh coastal path. So as soon as you cross the Severn uh, River and enter into Wales, into South Wales, down from, from England, you can start walking all around the coast um, throughout the south and going up toward the north and go back, um, go back all around England, uh, pardon, all around Wales into England and you can enjoy uh, watching the beautiful countryside. So there, will, there is going to be a little bit more activity for us uh, as we want to keep active as we would do it if we were in our company, um, you know, attending activities together. So we will have to do uh, just a small portion of, of that um, coastal path activity. In fact, coastal path is long, going around Wales almost, um, almost 1,000 miles. It's quite a lot. And you can, you can enjoy. I know some people who are actually calling me and they say, Pastor David, are they actual churches or church members that can host us as we want to go and actually walk around uh, the, the country, beautiful country of Wales. So if you're adventure during this uh, challenge period, you will have to complete 12 miles or around 20 kilometers, either by swimming or by running, cycling, jogging, hiking, uh, and you can um, complete that, and then you will get your 20 points that will go toward your, uh, your medal. Now, something that um, I'm going to try my best to pronounce, it is, um, I practice this <laughs> because it is in Welsh, but I'm going to, to say it is Pont Casilte Aqueduct. Uh, I suppose that there will be some people who will be laughing right now, but Pont Consilte Aqueduct is the longest and the highest aqueduct in Britain. It has 18 arches or spans. And um, we would like you to, again, use this as an inspiration to be active and to do every day, uh, if you're an adventurer, nine star jumps, nine push-ups, nine sit-ups, nine squats, and you can combine them to make number 18. And you can do this uh, every day. And then obviously, if you are a pathfinder, you will have to double that. Um, and if you are a master guide, you need to do four times as many. So 36 star jumps or squats or whatever. So these are a couple of, of challenges that will make you be very active. Now, my personal favorite, 
Uh, when I moved to Wales back in 2009, I read a couple of books about the Welsh history and I stumbled upon one of the most amazing stories that I still hold dear to my heart. It is a story about Mary Jones, about the young Welsh girl who wanted to get her Bible in the times where you couldn't get it as easily as we can have them today. So she was working um, all sorts of uh, little chores and, and big chores and all sorts of things to earn and save money to go and buy a Bible. And guess what? She couldn't just go down to the library in her village and get one. She had to walk uh, about 28 miles, 28 miles across the beautiful Welsh mountains up in the north of Wales. And if you go down to the um, town of Bala, uh, you will uh, find there Mary Jones, uh, little Mary Jones Museum. You will learn a little bit more about history. And you can even attempt to do the full walk of Mary Jones. You can download the maps and you can see that if this is something that you would like to do on your own or as, as, as a family or as a club on, on some other occasion. But on this occasion, Mary Jones walk served as an kind of inspiration for another challenge. So if you are an adventurer, you can complete the Mary Jones worksheet that you can download on our website. And also you can create a mini journal of Bible verses that you have read over several days. And we will be happy to find out what are the verses that you have chosen from the Bible. So use Bible to be your inspiration as it was for Mary Jones many, many years ago. Some people, I'm just going to give you a, this little fun fact, believe that this walk made by Mary Jones actually inspired uh, some of the theologians and the pre-pastors and, and leaders of uh, Britain to start or, or, or to, uh, to establish the Bible society that is so famous in spreading and printing the Bible uh, all over the world. So obviously there will be slightly different um, challenges uh, for pathfinders and master guides, but they are all going to be inspired by Mary Jones and her faith, her determination, and her love for God and big wish to have the Bible in her possession. Now, the great outdoors, we all, I already mentioned that Wales is an amazing country and the countryside is really, really beautiful. Um, we would like to invite you to do something uh, about the nature. So we have lots of amazing birds that are, can be found in Wales. Uh, but for you, if you're an adventurer, we would like to invite you to do the Outdoor Explorer Award um, and or uh, Children of the Bible Award. So this is if you're an adventurer, you can find some of those done by our e-club or you can find them on the Pathfinders um, <clears throat> websites and you can have uh, the help of your local club directors for that. So you can do this on your own. Pathfinders will do something similar, um, re, you know, something related to the natures like waterfall or the raptors um, awards and uh, you will have your points for, that will count toward your medal. And I believe this is the last challenge Welsh art. You, you, you are noticing now the pattern. We would like you to uh, do like in previous challenges, pardon, by, by presented by the previous entities, um, to do something that is very arty. So you can choose one of the Welsh uh, landmarks, whether they are made by nature or man-made, and you can use your imagination, your creativity, and to make it, draw it, use Legos to make or, or some other bricks to make the, the Welsh castles or you can do anything else, um, even make some kind of a, a, a blanket uh, made of Welsh wool or, or you can do all sorts of things. Um, we are just going to look forward to seeing your creativity. So you can take a photo at the end and send it to us so that we can also enjoy and present it. Pastor Dan is going to add it to the uh, to the newsletters and all, all other things that is going to come 
from the British Union conference throughout this uh, uh, challenging period. So wow. this is all from me. I am wow. inviting you to join us in Wales and to try out our challenges. May God bless you as you sign up for Wales. Well, wow, Pastor David, uh, you need to know that uh, we have, of course, we mentioned Galaxy from Sri Lanka Club joining for the, Thank you, Sri Lanka. the Welsh Mission <laughs> Challenge. Uh, we also have Port Talbot, which is a Welsh Mission Club. Uh, we have a confirmation well done, twice Talbot. on the Port Talbot. Uh, people <laughs> joining, and that is just so, so beautiful. Like you can see, these challenges designed to inspire you to grow physically, mentally, and spiritually. So each of these medals and a lot of hearts are going for uh, your presentation, all of you guys. So here it is, uh, just to give you a little bit more update, uh, Pasta, uh, Pasta and Pasta Iquisa, we have uh, NEC Challenge accepted from uh, 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 Tulia. Uh, we have also uh, NEC Challenge accepted by Nottingham. I'm assuming they will not get some subsidy. That I'm, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you chose wisely. NEC going for NEC, okay? So all together, um, I'm getting also updates from Natalie right now. We just had a club join us from Mexico. Uh, we also had a one more club from South Africa, which is called Flying Eagles. Uh, so uh, welcome uh, and thank you so much for registering for the challenge accepted uh, this time. So uh, now uh, we're going to go to the next one. And... Uh, <clears throat> That is uh, uh, actually Pastor, Pastor Clifford Herman. Pastor Clifford is our South England Conference uh, Part Fund Director. So let us hear your challenges, Pastor Clifford. Pastor Dan, good evening. Thank you for, for leaving the South England Conference, you know, for last. Because I don't need to say much about the South England Conference and these challenges. Because if you ask anywhere in the world and people say UK or they say England, they only they think London, isn't that right? So I didn't even to say anything because everybody will just navigate towards the south of England, London, Isle of Wight. In fact, Pastor NJ, sorry, not Pastor NJ. Why am I saying Pastor NJ? In fact, Pastor Dan, I bought this little this little memento the other day, you know, and it says John O'Groats 874 miles. That means from the southern tip of of a southern tip of England, right up to the north tip, is 874 miles. Do you know what? That's what people do or walk or cycle. But the thing is, they say the best of Scotland, the best part of Scotland, is the road back down to England. And so therefore, I say the best part of it, we don't want to go to Scotland. You want to come down to the south of England. In fact, Pastor, yeah, Pastor, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Dan, I've got this little thing, you know, that I said, and I'm sure if I ask any of these guys on this forum whether this is a a a, a you know memento from 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 the UK, they would all say yes. But you know what? This is not from the UK. This is from Holland. But 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 there's a reason why I'm saying this because the challenges in the south of England. In fact, let me first say this: the other reason why we're we doing this is not only to be too active, not only to, you know, to, to, to get pins or, or medals, but it's actually to grow wise, isn't that right? This is the reason why we're doing this. So in other words, we want to know, you know, you want to do research about, you know, about uh, um, 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 whatever we, we are doing. And so uh, this is wisdom and this knowledge that we also gain. So in fact, that's what the South of England challenges are all about. It is about wisdom. And this is the one thing, there's one thing I want to highlight. This is the one, you know, all the way from, um, where is it? Bletchley, the Bletchley Park. And this is where the Colossus machine was created. Now, if you go into the, 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 the First World War, in fact, there was a lot of secrecy and code breaking there as the five countries were fighting. And in fact, they say, I. I believe this is where the first computer was thought of, you know, and there's a lot of wisdom in there. Even if I go a little bit more southwest, I go to a beautiful two big domes, which is called the Eden Project. Now, the Eden Project is a concept of conservation. In fact, it is a conservation project of tropical and Mediterranean. There's beautiful plants growing there. 
there's beautiful wildlife that's actually grown into this big, big biomes. And Eden Project is all about there. And you've got to do, you've got to do, you know, just think about God's creation. And for that week, for one week, you know, you, you do a worship session, you know, for your family, all about God's creation. Isn't that great? And then the third thing that I want to talk about, you know, is this the London Eye. Now the London Eye, now you think the London Eye is just an icon, but in fact, the London Eye is Europe's tallest cantilevered observation wheel. It is Europe's biggest one. So it's not just an icon and you go and enjoy yourself. In fact, if you do a little research on the London Eye, you'll find that there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of work that went into that. So I'm just going to just going to stop here because the south of England is the most important, the most valuable, and the most wise. The wisest choice you can make is to come to the south of England. In fact, not only the wisest choice, but it's the most valuable choice because you don't only get wise, but you learn about the queen, Windsor Castle, the best object there where the queen lives and she she says you know that it, it's it's built in the 11th century and all you need to do there because the banquet hall is about what um 255 meters long i don't know but it's, it's it's quite nine meters nine meters wide in fact and, and and you can you can have a big banquet in there and so what all you want to do is Walk 2,220 2, steps and you would cover what the queen probably does her steps there every day, you know, just around the banquet hall. So that's enough for me. Not only does Scotland, that's the that's South England Conference have a beautiful middle, but you've got, you are wise, you learn about royalty, and listen, it is the ultimate choice. Pastor Cliff, I think that uh, I think that uh, your sale pitch there uh, 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 went probably a step too far, but we love it. We love it, Pastor Cliff, for sure. Uh, we love it, and you need to know you got a massive clap from uh, Andrea. She's she she put so many clappy hands there for you, Pastor Cliff. So here it is. Uh, uh, um, uh, we have a, a flying eagles who actually saying. They are planning to do all of the challenges, including the South Indian Conference. Uh, you know, uh, uh, let me just mention international clubs are very welcome to join as well. And 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 um, please do sign up. Natalie left some information for you. Uh, OK, we have a, a desire who said uh, SEC and Scottish mini ch challenge accepted. So somebody is going for SEC and Scottish challenge and many others, I'm sure, will be joining the SEC challenge. Oh, very good, very good, very good. So. We're coming now just to the last challenge, um, and unfortunately Bogdan was not with us here tonight, and he's not with us here tonight, and that is uh, uh, that is Irish uh, Mission uh, Challenge. And my friends, I just want to point out that we are very much privileged to have Irish Mission as a part of the British Union, and you need to know that Irish Mission is slowly but surely becoming a conference uh, themselves. So that means the membership in Ireland is growing. And we are so glad about this. At the same time, my friends, it is a land of diversity and a land of, uh, well, uh, well, like any other land, I guess, uh, you know, love and challenges. And there's everything else I would I say, there are a few things that you'll be able to do. And I won't go into detail because you will need to explore it for yourself. But certainly in Northern Ireland, that's where Titanic was built. And uh, we also have a beautiful landmark of giant causeway, which uh, is that very hexagonal rocks placed and is just stunning place to be. And you can learn a lot if you do this challenge. At the same time, you have um, on the uh, Republic of Ireland, you have a beautiful cliffs of Moha and many other things that you can learn or explore. But if you notice in the middle of that medal, if you remember properly, there is a massive, it's a very spiky tower. And uh, when I drove through Ireland, I was, London, was wondering, what's this? And I found out that these spiky towers are actually the treasure houses. And they are found in Republic of Ireland and also Northern Ireland. Well, this is the places where villages used to store the treasures. If the village would be raided, uh, everything was safe in the, uh, in the treasure house because raiders at that stage did not have expandable ladder. So they could not climb it. So they would come and then they would, unfortunately, sometimes 
steal and hurt some people and all these things, but they would not be able to take the treasures. So make sure you guys sign out as well for the Irish challenge. If there is anybody there who is watching this right now, make sure you put it in the chat section that you are uh, going to do Irish Irish challenge. So that's from uh, Ireland. Now I'm going to share the screen uh, once again, if I'm able to do this as you would expect after 14, 15 months of e-club, I'll be able to do this, but you never know. <laughs> never know. Uh, here it is. So here it is. Now these are the challenger sheets. You will uh, download the ones you have and you will work step by step towards achieving your medals. <clears throat> Now, my friends, uh, this is once again a reminder, please do register uh, for this website, which is Kempri.uk as a club. And uh, um, uh, just for those club leaders and directors, which will be actually monitoring your progress, you will be fulfilling, uh, you would filling uh, the challenges, uh, uh, requirements uh, and progress on, uh, on the top button there where you see submissions for, for the club directors and uh, and, uh, and parents and guardians who will be uh, monitoring your progress, they will be fulfilling that in this button here under submissions. Now you're thinking, well, if I achieve one of these medals, what more do I want? Uh, I want, you know, let me remind you people, this is still a fake gold. I would suggest you that you want, uh, you know, uh, to uh, be with Jesus. You know, that's like a number one thing. I hope you would do that. Uh, but certainly my friends, Achieving the medal is very interesting and, and beautiful, but uh, there is a one more step to these challenges, and that is the club challenges. So if you fulfill the requirements, you will be able to, through the club, purchase your medal. But, my friends, if you want to bring some financial awards to your club, we're just talking about the highest scoring clubs, uh, we would like to encourage you... <clears throat> to do the bonuses and the bonuses are here guys let me just tell you what i mean so that you uh, you would achieve your medal and then you can do the bonuses to bring more to your club my friend so for example look look at there you can camp out get a picture take a picture at least two nights and uh, send it to us i will share the link where you can send it and that brings you some points but i can't see how many points camping out let me just see camping out uh camping Okay, I can five or ten points. I can't say. Activate your pasta. I'm sure your pasta after the lockdown probably could do with a little bit of movement. Go to your pasta, say pasta, join me on a challenge acceptance, and you will get a five points for that. Or maybe you want to, for example, plant a tree. Planting a tree and taking picture and sending us this brings ten points, and so you would be able to score a lot of points for your club. And let me just tell you this, uh, this is the first time we are publishing this, but uh, for the uh, highest scoring British club, <clears throat> there'll be a award of 800 pounds. That's a lot of money, by the way. 800 pounds goes to the highest scoring club. So make sure you activate your members and, and make sure you do this. And for the international club that join us, uh, which for example, we have, uh, for example, Mexico, Sri Lanka, uh, South Africa, uh, uh, the price is a little bit smaller, but we are planning to give to the highest scoring club uh, 200 pounds and we'll find a way to get this to you because we want you to enjoy as well the benefits here it is my friends when you finish and uh, when you're doing your for example uh, art arts part of the requirements or when you're doing the bonus parts or you know for example you want to vlog your pr process which brings a lot of points by the way you will go to the p cloud if you can see this is how the window will look like and then and um, you will press on upload button and you will upload your file each file that you upload, you can't upload the folders, you can only upload the file. Each file that you're uploading needs to have your first name, look at there, the pink part, the first name, then space, your church, your space, conference, and then that's it, or mission field, whatever you, wherever you are. If you're international, uh, you can actually put the country. Don't put the dots in between that because it's not going to be good. The link for the P Cloud, just in case you cannot download, uh, we put it in the description in this video. Make sure you check that. But in case you can't or you can't copy, this is the link underneath the yellow. It's a long link, but maybe only way for you to connect with us. So make sure you do this. Now, let me just see what is next. Okay, here it is. It's now for Paula. Paula, please uh, unmute yourself and t uh, take us through how to use the website. Okay, good evening, everyone. 
Um, well, we are very excited now with all these challenges. So let's see if where you as an adventurer, pathfinder or master guide can go and double check the challenges again. So as we have said, uh, the website is campuri.uk and I will share my screen. Let me see if I have the right to do that. Uh, all, right, all right, Paula, uh, let me just make sure you do have because I know you left and came back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here it is. Here we are. Thank you. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys so that you can go to campuri.uk and you will find this uh, menu on the top and the place that you want to go to download all the, the worksheets that have been mentioned is here in challenges. So if you click on the challenge link, you have all this explanation that you could go through and you also have the links to each regional challenge. But you can also find it from the main menu and we could go to the Irish, for example, the Irish mission, and you will see your beautiful medal that you will be awarded, be awarded. and you have your worksheets immediately. That's one of the first things. And when you are ready, you can click on this button to say accept the challenge. So um, this is for these pages uh, of the regions. You can go and check what it actually has for every single uh, category of adventures, pathfinders, master guides. And also you can see the bonuses that your region has. So, you can come here, challenge, and download your spreadsheet. And that's all you need to do as Adventure Pathfinder and Master Guide for the information. But what do the directors or coordinators in your clubs need to do in order to register? Well, they will need to come to this section of register. And there is a code. Uh, so when they come and click on this one, they will be presented with this uh, login section. You need to get the login credentials from your um, the director, um, regional director. So that will be your conference or your mission that pathfinder director. So once they email you that information, you will be able to come to the registration and enter all your info here. So if I just pretend that I am submitting this form, because it's empty, you will see that there are some fields that you must enter. And just a note here in the numbers, we want to know how many adventures are participating, how many pathfinders, how many master guides. This is very important for the calculations of your club. If you are a church, you belong to a church that has an adventure club, and a Pathfinder Club separate leadership, and you are so many, then it's better that each club deals and organizes their own group age. But, um, but if you have here someone, not at this uh, message here, if you have none of this category, please just enter zero, okay? And you will see that the field immediately comes green. If you have 10 pathfinders, that's it, you enter it, and you need to have also how many master guides are going to be uh, participating. So once you uh, send this, uh, submit this form, you will receive a, um, an email with a code that you will need to use. This is, remember, information only for the directors of your club or for the person who is coordinating your club, okay? So you will get an email with the code and I'm gonna bring uh, in a moment um, one code that I have, I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna bring one image um, because I would like to do one um, real test with you guys. Um, this might be very uh, useful for the directors. So let me see, let me see. 
Thank you, Paula, for that. Uh, so just to let you know, everybody who's watching, you'll be able to watch this later in case you miss something. So don't 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 get stressed too much about this. Uh, the link is posted in the comment section. Uh, so if you want to go check it yourself, it is at the moment, uh, Paula, it goes on the HTTPS, uh, you know, uh, so uh, Kimpuri.uk. Uh, so this is where it is in the chat section. And we'll post that link as well later on for the YouTube as well. Here, here, comes, uh, here comes the video. So here is a sample of the email that you will get and you will notice that there is this code. Every club will have a unique code and it's very important that you as coordinator or director of your club don't disclose that to anyone, only to the people who are going to be posting the information. So we have this one, camp test CL14, let's see, let's go. So to our page. So once you have received that, you come to um, challenge, choose your challenge, and you will be asked for that code. So let's enter it. Camp test. And you can select which challenges your adventurers or your pathfinders, <laughs> in fact, your club will be doing. So if I say that I want to select the Scottish and the North England Conference, I select those challenges for my club and I save that. So you get a message that you have selected these ones. Previously, I had selected the South England and that's why you see it here. And when you are ready to submit, then you come to the submissions link, you will be asked again your code And you will be given here your region, your challenges that you have selected. Let's pretend that I'm ready to uh, submit something from South England information. So my children were busy during the week or during the month or during the two weeks, busy filling in all those worksheets that you saw previously. And they send you an image of that paper and now you know how many have completed the Windsor Castle. Um, in this case, let's say that my Pathfinder told me um, that they have done the Isle of Wight challenge and five of them have completed it. And that's all that has been done so far for this week. And no one did some bonuses. I'm just gonna send this information. It's important that you keep us up to date with what your children are doing, because we will show you in a moment the graphs that can be doing. And, and you can see how each club is doing. If you want to send another report, then uh, you could go to the um, Scottish mission. And for that one, um, the children have done the Burns Night. Uh, the 10 of them, the 10 that I registered have done it. And one master guide has done it as well. Um, so as you can see, you can come here to this page anytime you need and submit as you receive the information from your members in the club. And this one will then get us to a page that when we see that information, real information is coming, because remember, this is just my test. When we see that the information is coming, we will show you a page where you can see the names of the clubs, how many points they have, and also a graph of how the conferences are doing among themselves. Um, another quick way that you could double check in the meantime, while well, that page is uh, ready for you to see and populated with some information, is come here to the homepage. You will see how many clubs and people have registered so far, and you will also see what regions have been selected. Remember that in all these uh, challenges to remind us that in this life we will have challenge, but we have hope in Christ and we need to do our best and to be true and honest and loving to everyone around us, but especially to choose Jesus and mention him wherever you are, whatever you do, be a star for Jesus because he loves you so much. And one day, remember, he's coming back soon. 
Hey, Paula, thank you very much for that. Uh, you need to know the reason why Paula did this because Paula is the one who built this and this took a lot of time from her and we are thankful, Paula, because uh, this is uh, something that will help us greatly. Can you imagine we have to process all the information? So we're going to be getting the information from you directly every single week. We will actually, my job is to combine your pictures and videos and stuff of this and hopefully with a group of these very serious part five directors, Actually, we are very serious until we meet each other, just to let you know. When we meet each other, that something goes wrong, but, but we'll get together and we will actually uh, create a video with whoever is available and we will share the video every week with all of your beautiful pictures, videos. So remember to update the, uh, the information at the campri.uk and make sure you send us those pictures and videos through the P Cloud, the link that is in the description. So that is, uh, that is apart from Paula, we, we're coming to a very, very end at the moment. I just wanna share the screen to <clears throat> give the last, just uh, links and a few things on the one place so you don't have to search for them. So here it is, um, uh, uh, my friends, you can see now uh, the important information in the one place and we hope this will help you. Uh, I, I need to minimize this. Here it is. Oh, okay. So if you get stuck, make sure you email us at partfinder at adventist.uk. We are there to help you. Uh, of course, you have your conference emissions, uh, partfinder directors, make sure you call them as well because they love to receive your phone calls. And I would suggest you call them every day. Wish them, you know, a happy Monday, happy Tuesday, Wednesday, and every day. So, so get in touch with your partfinder directors and myself, please. I, my phone is always available. Uh, and then uh, make sure you have this web page at Kempuri.uk. You know, uh, uh, let me just tell you, we gave the deadline for this month of challenges to be the 18th of July. 18th of July. We want all the pictures, everything to go to the Pathfinder directors uh, so we can actually uh, uh, consider who won quite a big price of £800, by the way, uh, for the uh, British Union clubs uh, and uh, £200 for the international club. So it's very important. 18th of July, uh, we will. We are not very. We are. We are, we are graceful people. If you're late a day, we will still take it. But 18th is the deadline, guys. All right, and um, uh, make sure that in case if you later on are looking to purchase those medals, uh, it's at the pfclub.co.uk. But uh, uh, I missed the most important part, and that is Sabbath on 31st of July. We're gonna have a closing ceremony where we're gonna announce the winners. All right. We will announce the winners. Uh, what is very important, uh, somebody said my email is wrong. Uh, 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 part funders, well, maybe it is a singular, maybe it's a plural, I'm not even sure now. Paula, you created that email address, you tell me what is correct. Uh, so um, nevertheless, my email as well is there, uh, Dayan at D-E-J-A-N at Adventist. Oh, uh, it's a plural, I do apologize. So make sure you use, Pathfinders at Adventist uh, dot um, UK. I just posted that. Oh, sorry about. Uh, I just posted. So it is plural. Uh, plural. Okay. Uh, make sure you have S there. Thirty first closing ceremony. We're gonna close uh, the, the this month of challenges. But now let me just tell you the best part. Guess what? You don't manage to finish, but you manage to finish partially. You still submit results to your club director because you definitely earn some points. Don't be scared because we're not going to close down this. We're going to leave this open. So in other words, you just keep pushing to reach that medal for yourself. So if you are late, just tell to your director, listen, I have to finish this, this, and I would like to receive that medal. Make sure you keep pushing. And then last thing, in case you love all the medals. Well, let's just say Welsh Mission chose to do only Welsh Mission challenges, which would be very very unfriendly from Welsh mission, <clears throat> I think. So. But they still like the Irish mission challenge medal. They can still do it, not maybe at this stage, maybe they can do it from let's say November till December, the time when your club is maybe a little bit more slower or something like this, the challenges will be you know, accepted at any stage. And so make sure you push for those medals. But above everything else, my friends, uh, uh, I would say, uh, make sure you push towards, um, so it was that moment when Jesus comes for the second time and that you are ready for his coming and that you will be able to meet him uh, for the second time. So my friends, uh, in all these challenges, in all the spiritual challenges, physics challenges, we want you to think about that very moment uh, 
when Jesus comes for the second time. And if anybody would like to be baptized or would like to do Bible studies towards during this time, please let us know. We know how to connect you to the best of the best to do Bible studies with you. So, my friends, on the behalf of uh, the amazing team, now uh, Pathfinder directors, you need to. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to the grid. Then on behalf of all of us, uh, we are so thankful that you accepted uh, one of these challenges, and we hope that you truly accepted the challenge of Jesus Christ, and that is to be ready for his second coming. So my friends, um, uh, 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 so uh, the last thing for, from us is just to let you know, uh, there'll be a weekly report, and uh, hopefully you will be able to be together. If not, some of us will present it to you, uh, and uh, we'll uh, run this month together. So God bless you all, and uh, we look forward, we look forward to see uh, how well you do. And uh, in case if you, uh, in case, in case if you do have a challenge uh, bigger than the challenge that you accepted, and maybe you cannot run that big match, or maybe you cannot see, or maybe you have issue with, with maybe not be able to get out at all of the, out of your house because of lockdown, make sure you let know your director, because we are here to have a, a beautiful time, spiritual time, and above everything else, we want you to have some fun as well. So my friends, uh, like, we're going to bow our heads in prayer. We're going to close down, and I'm going to ask if that's right. Uh, uh, Pastor Cliff, would you mind praying for us, and then we're going to stop our broadcast for today. Sorry, I just needed to unmute myself. But yes, thank you, Pastor Dan. Let's 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 pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this opportunity to talk to you. Thank you for the opportunity to learn and the chance to have fun. And I know this this whole this whole campery, this whole uh, um, exercise is going to be fun and it's going to be hard work, maybe, but it's going to be a great time. But but most of all, Lord, we want to remember as we come to this. To the to the to the hours of the Sabbath, that the, the 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 biggest opportunity, the best opportunity you can have, is to follow Jesus. And yes, we have COVID. We have all the challenges in the in the world today that challenges our faith. But may you, Lord, come into our lives today, and may we know that whatever challenge we face, that you're there to guide us. You're there to be with us. Even these challenges that we're going to work on, you know, the, the exercise and the walking. And may we also know that you can also accompany us too. Thank you for being our God, being our friend, and for being our Savior. And maybe, Lord, we are all over the world today. We're all remote. But we look forward to the day when you will come. We all can be together and fellowship the best and the greatest campery ever with Jesus in our midst. Bless us until that end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey, happy Sabbath, everybody. Uh, uh, well, if you're watching this later on YouTube, well, happy whichever day it is. And we want to give you a big wave and we're just going to say God bless you and hopefully, hopefully see you very, very soon. God bless. Yes. Bye-bye. Bless you. Bye.